time now to visit with Jamie Garbett, who is an environmental educator with the city of Kamloops. Welcome to Midday. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you. You've always got so many good <laughs> ideas, and I always say, you know what, I really should do that, because you make it seem so simple, right? It is really simple, yeah. So today we're going to be talking about drying our clothes, mm -hmm. because we all have to wash our clothes. And by the way, Sometimes. Always, <laughs> always do full loads, and that's going to save you money. So if you can uh, reduce by one load a week for the whole year, you can mm -hmm. save about $30, which is really? good. Yeah. One load a week. Yeah, so always do those full loads. So that, you're, that way you're going to get the most out of your washing machine, mm -hmm. your water, and your detergent. Okay. Yeah. So, so step number one. Yes. But then... Cram mm -hmm. those clothes in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> then you want to dry your clothes. So that's always good for saving energy with your clothes or with your dryer. Mm -hmm. And then you're also going to save um, on your clothes as well, because every time you throw your clothes into the dryer, it reduces the quality of the clothes. It's starting to pull fabric out, so it's going to degrade the quality. Mm -hmm. um, so do that and they're going to smell nice and fresh. It's going to disinfect your clothes as well with the natural sunlight. And if you put it out long enough, it can actually bleach all your whites, which is good. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So I hadn't thought rags. about that. Yeah, you know, sometimes your dish rags come out and they're uh -huh. like, ugh. So throw them into the sun and it'll ble bleach all, all those little germs and whiten them up, make them look nice and fresh. Okay. Well, yeah. that's a great idea and something yeah. so simple. <laughs> so would you suggest putting up like a big clothesline or? If you can, that's always easier. So, but um, you can always use little racks as well. They're really affordable. Mm -hmm. um, we had some pictures of some there. I don't know. Yeah. So there's one. There's lots of different options. Um, those ones there have to go into the ground. Um, mm -hmm. That might not work out for everyone because it does take up a, a, a real estate. Some people put them right into their homes, which is nice so that you can use them year round and you can put all your delicates on there. So those are kind of cute. And you know, that's interesting because that wouldn't work in Vancouver, perhaps, where it's wetter. But here in Kamloops, they actually will dry. They will dry, yeah. yeah. Some people even dry them in the wintertime too. They'll throw things outside and they kind of freeze dry. But <laughs> so, so for in that case, um, maybe in the wintertime you're not into... Uh, hanging your clothes up, throw a dry towel into the dryer and that will reduce the time as well. Oh, interesting. This is a cute little rack yeah, that you can use too. Yeah, and they've repurposed um, an old ladder, which is a great way of uh, using things up so you're not throwing something into the landfill as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, it makes it look nice and cute. But That's these are the, the quick little uh, drying racks that just set up anywhere. You can put it in your house, you can put it just out on your deck and things will dry here super, super fast in Kamloops. So mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, one of my favorite things to do in the summer is to put sheets out and have them dry outside. There's I love that. There's nothing like drying your sheets out in the, in the air because the smell yeah. is just amazing. And then you don't have to use those chemical softeners which aren't very good for you to begin with. So mm -hmm. yeah, hang everything to dry. Things will smell so nice and mm -hmm. you're gonna reduce on those chemicals. Which... Okay, so how do you get jeans to not be like boards? So <laughs> is there, like, is there a, tr a trick for that? <laughs> no, you're always gonna have like the stiffness. The so stiff. <laughs> I know my husband hates it when I do the, the towels because they're all really hard and stuff and yeah. I'm like well it's a nice exfoliant <laughs> <laughs> a good side to everything with Jamie but what you could do is um, after everything's dry just throw it into the dryer for about five minutes and the friction will kind of loosen things up and then okay. they won't be so um, cardboardy <laughs> yeah. I'm ironing your jeans okay that's what's happening <laughs> great tips and you guys have a website people can go to for some of these tips too? yeah www.gamlets.ca all right, Jamie, thanks so much for joining <laughs> thanks us. Thanks for having me. We'll be back in just a moment.